Hey, you all know that I am Aurora J, and this is the Secure Entrepreneur Movement. Happy Money Monday, happy Money Monday. The sun is shining, there is plenty of light, and I pray that everyone is safe at home, okay? Now, Mr. Aurora is going to answer these questions for you because you know Mr. Aurora reads all of your emails, and I thank you for continuing to do that. Please email info at auroradayconsulting.com. Now, many of you are saying that you are in agreement with these protesters, <laughs> okay? You are in agreement with taking yourself back to somebody's job. And I have to tell you, 12 people told me they got laid off and about seven of you said you were ecstatic about it because now you have the time to actually build your business, okay? So what's happening is that Yes, we're seeing these individuals protest. And I was watching an interview of a young lady who was saying that she uh, doesn't feel that her, her business is non-essential and all of this stuff here. So moving forward, all of you are saying the same thing in your emails that you do feel essential. And I told you in a previous video that you have to turn your skills into something that is essential, okay? So what I'm saying to you today is you have got to stop the side hustle and start a business. Stop the side hustle and start a business. Look at these people protesting. Let people practice uh, you know, safe hygiene, social distancing, whatever, at their own discretion. Open New Jersey now! Open New Jersey! This, this has to do with the fact that what is not being created is long-term income long-term income that actually has nothing to do with your manual labor. Now, many of you in the emails are saying, you know, you were showing up every day, you were working hard, you were there, but the, but the problem is if you don't show up, when you don't show up, there is no money, okay? So the side hustle thing, you, I, I watched all these videos too, just like you're saying in your emails, these people told you how to go and do the side hustle thing. You went down somewhere and got a DBA. You went up on IRS.gov. You got a EIN for a sole proprietor. You still didn't qualify for the PPP. All of these things. Okay, first mistake. You didn't have a true legal entity. Okay, so the three things that Mr. Roar is going to tell you right now, how we're going to resolve this issue, all right? You're going to get a real legal entity. You're going to get a real legal entity. And I'm not talking this whole, oh, we're going to go up on the paper mill because I'm not going to say any names. But we all know that, the, that there are people here on the internet that are telling you to just go to this particular online service and they're gonna set your company up and all that stuff and then you have absolutely no idea how to operate it you have absolutely no idea how you how your business fits in as it relates to taxes and that's why you're gonna end up paying uh, 15 16% self-employment tax okay and, and all the other things that come with still being an employee still being self-employed you never created a business and then you never became an investor, okay? So, see, you have to go through the cycle. So, we're gonna do a real legal entity, okay? We're going to do a real legal entity and we're going to have a real banking relationship. Now, when I ask some of you, all right, let me see your financial statement. And then you say to me, well, Mr. Warren, what is that? Now I know where we're going in this. I know where we are and I know where we need to go, okay? So, legal entity real banking relationship. So you're going to take your, you're going to have that legal entity properly structured. Okay, this is Money Monday. So this, I have to tell you this because I'm reading your emails, <laughs> okay? You have got to open up a bank account the proper way, okay? If you don't know, if you don't know, come and join us, so proprietor to CEO, our group in Facebook. Click some of the links down below if you're here on YouTube, okay? Because Mr. Rohrer is gonna say the same thing all the time. You've got to go from so proprietor to CEO, okay? Once you do that, now you have got to get into market mode, okay? Who is it that needs what the heaven I have? These skills that I have, who needs it 24 hours a day, every day, internationally, okay? I'ma calm down. 
Oh. Yes, internationally. Because see, this is where the side hustler is getting stuck. You are so addicted to your side hustle that your side hustle is only in your immediate nucleus, right? You can only really do the side hustle where you are. So maybe you have to have people come to you or you, and this is in your, this is in your environment, okay? Or you have to go someplace to do it, you know, like uh, I, I, I just met a person recently who does the whole, he fixes the cracks in your window. So if you get these cracks in your window, all right, he's gonna come out to your car and he's gonna do the thing. And you need this person now. Let me just tell you, you need this person. And, and due to the grace, he can still come out here and work. And I said, this is so funny. He sent me a picture the other day. He's wearing the mask and he's fixing somebody's windshield, okay? We need that brother, <laughs> okay? But, but, he's limited. He's limited, why? He doesn't have a real bank, uh, bank account. He doesn't have a business bank account. He's still taking money in his own name. Okay, so so when it came time to saying, okay, well, right now people are really not gonna fix their car. They might not really fix their car. I don't really know what's gonna happen. He couldn't go get any money, okay? Also, this is something that he cannot be a part of international commerce and make money with, okay? He has to be present 100% of the time to fix a windshield. Now, how many of you out here are in the same position? Whatever it is that you do, you have not treated it like a real business, okay? It's still a side hustle for you, all right? So on this Money Monday, I want you to get into the comments and let Miss Aurora know what is it that you have been doing? What side hustle have you been doing that has kept you stuck? Okay, and how is it that you plan to turn this thing around? Why? Because this is the best time in the world. Everybody who understands money knows this right now. This is the best time in the world to come up, okay? But if you're going to do that, you have got to turn that side hustle into a real bona fide business that operates internationally. You're saying you want to make six figures. You're saying you want to make seven figures, okay? But you're doing this little itty bitty pokey pokey turn yourself around in the same space. It's not going to work, okay? So that's what Mr. Aurora wants to say today on Money Monday. I'm going to do another video for you because I'm going to really get through these questions this week, okay? All right. You know that you can find me Aurora Day at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, 